I have no idea what took me so long to think about this video. There's so much to learn from it and it's super easy to just do it and show you guys and even learn from it myself. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayala and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And yes, it's good to be back. <laughs> it was fantastic to be back. Thank you to the 32 people who watched yesterday's me coming back to YouTube video as a live premiere. It was so much fun chatting with you guys. I can't even explain how I missed you guys. And actually while filming that video and editing it, something really hit me. I mean, my top video on this channel was how to make and sell printable greeting cards, where I pretty much showed you guys how I used to do it, you know, taking an A4 paper or a letter size, a US letter size document and basically putting in a five by seven foldable card inside plus the mock-ups plus uploading it to Etsy and everything. And by the way, there is a link to that video <laughs> down below, of course. And I think that seeing that so many people watch that video made me realize how much I really enjoyed making it and not just making it, how much I really did enjoy having that type of an Etsy store and it's something that I might want to do again. So this is for everyone who wants to sell printable greeting cards on Etsy or, you know, on other platforms, because what I want to do today is product review. <laughs> I do a lot of product reviews for print on demand and, you know, even stuff like this that has not been reviewed yet. I, I like order something and I wait for it to arrive. It's to show us the quality and the potential of things, but also, you know, how people are doing stuff, to give you ideas about suppliers. And a lot of people have been wondering, you know, because I showed my method for greeting cards, for printable greeting cards, but there are other methods and other ways to do it. And I do wonder, what files do you get when you order from other people printable greeting cards? What is the type of file? What is the size? Do they just give you a JPEG of the actual card? Do people buy them? How do people review them? So that's what we're doing today. And hopefully that will help whoever of you who want to do something similar as well as help me because I really think that like right now I have a Royal Arts which has nothing on it on Etsy and I think it's about time to take my new artistic style and actually make greeting cards, printable greeting cards and I hope that seeing what other people are doing will help me see maybe I can do this faster or stuff like that. There will not be like a tutorial on how I do things in this video, I'm just gonna show you what other people are doing, literally buying from other shops and downloading and showing you guys. Not sharing the files, of course, because you know, that's their file that they made, but showing what you get when you purchase printable greeting cards on Etsy. Wow, it took me a long time to actually say the name of the video. So you know what? Let's stop chit-chatting, make myself smaller, and open Etsy. And I'm, you know, I'm just gonna get down to business and type in printable greeting cards. It also gave me an option to get like printable greeting cards with envelopes. So let's just open that one as well. Let's just duplicate this page. And here, let's go back. Okay, and here you can clearly see the number of reviews, not the number of downloaded files, but the number of reviews. But it could also give you an intake on, you know, which shop is selling uh, more, less, la la la. And we actually have here a five by seven and four by six card templates. That could be interesting. I like this one, the simple cactuses, especially when that store has so many reviews. Let's also check out birthday card for her. Okay, this looks nice. Party time, I've seen that card so many times, so many times with so many sellers. We have another greeting card template. We have notes of encouragement, another printable print and cut template. Is that for commercial purpose or for like regular people? Moist. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a Brooklyn Nine-Nine joke? <laughs> Moist. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Is anyone here watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Do you get the reference? Maybe it's from a different, maybe it's from SNL. I don't know. We have a lot of the cards that, you know, have basic text and some designs on them, but I want to get something that will more look like what I want to do and also be diverse because we did open this template, um, this painting that is centered on a card, um, this kind of thing, but I want to see something that is full, like all the colors. Let's also go to printable greeting cards with envelopes. We're actually also seeing this. Um, we have Be Kind digital greeting card instant download and it looks like maybe that's the envelope. I don't know. 
And we have A2 greeting card and envelope template. A2? I have to see that one. Okay. I also want to see printable greeting cards square. Like I want a one by one ratio, which I am not seeing here. <laughs> okay, we have this. Let's go down. Where are all the squares? I literally typed in square. Do we not have squares? But oh, I'm officially in love. Oh, I love it so much. It looks so adorable. And it looks like a relatively new shop. We have a set of four here. This is like the second square here. Let's open it up. And I also want to see printable greeting cards art. Oh, wow. W wait, 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 what happened? Where are those hearts things? Where did they go? Did you guys see this too? It was like flashing for a second. You have a lot of coloring cards. That's kind of nice. Let's open this one. I want to see like painting. Where did that thing go? There was like something that flashed for a second. See, it happens again. Maybe I need to disconnect shipping to the US. Seriously, only 1,730 results. Sort by uh, most recent. Ah, that's what happened. Okay. I really, ugh, why did this keep happening? Where is that thing? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Okay, Os, Ostara printable greeting card. Ah, uh, wow, this, uh, this looks nice. I like it. Yeah, it's such a, wow. So many violations of rights. It's insane. Fashion illustration card custom. Okay. Pink beach chair with anchor. With and without, with and without what? With and without sand, original art. Okay, I don't want clip art. Oh, this looks nice, watercolor print. No, I want cards. Just people who sell cards. I want people who sell cards and other people are buying them because they want cards. Um, let's do acrylic. I'm doing acrylic style. And I can't see much here. Let's do printable art card. Oh my God, I'm gonna spend so much money. Spanish and English, okay, 20. Oh, these are full on stacks and packs. Ooh, affirmation printables. Let's check this one out. Um, these ones look really nice. This is an actual tarot deck with, tarot deck with flowers, okay. Interesting. Blank postcard stamp template, okay. Ooh. I like this one, positive affirmation cards. And um, let's do a printable painting reading card. I just want something with paintings. Why did this keep beeping? Ooh, this is cute. This is really nice. Okay, D I think we have enough, right? Also, this one is, looks nice. I think we have enough. Okay, oh yeah, let's close this, let's close this. this. And we have here. Be kind digital greeting card instant download blank card with envelope printable greeting card. Okay, so this is what you're getting. This is basically the cut file going to be with something on the other side. Shabby craft. Oh, that's actually the logo. Let's zoom in. That's actually the name and logo of this brand. We have here the envelope template. Ooh, that looks good, guys. That looks good. Coming out of the printer. Brilliant. I wonder if it's a mock-up. And um, let's just search it with Google Lens for a bit. If it's a mock-up, I'm pretty sure that Google Lens is going to recognize it. And I don't know, maybe it's a mock-up from Playset or something. It's just showing me a lot of Etsy sellers who have been doing this. Remind me. <laughs> Note to self. Search for that uh, mock-up. <laughs> okay. Then we have here, fantastic digital downloads every time. Oh. That's cute. I like this one. When your order completes, you receive a thank you like this. Huh? If you miss it or come back here. Oh, that's nice. You'll receive an email. And this is how to put in coupon codes. Okay. And what are you getting? You're getting three JPEG files, a digital blank greeting card and envelope, instant printable, one blank greeting card, approximately six by four, one coordinating envelope. You'll receive three eight and a half by 11 so that's a us letter size inch files one for the card one for the envelope template and one with instructions okay that's nice uh let's add this to cart do i have anything on my cart nope okay that will be nice 
Uh, moving on. I just really want to see what this is. So this is an A2 white template, craft template, okay. Not really interesting for my video now. We have this one who sells a square one, the Owl Design Studio. Okay, what, what's, what, what's up with Etsy and not showing the cover photo? Like I literally have to refresh to actually see the banner. Mm, nice, very clean. Canva templates. Oh wow, this shop is cute. What are people actually buying from them? Because they had eight sales from Milan, Italy. International Women's Day Instagram templates or Instagram post and story templates. We also have tags and cards. Okay, so they sold this card. I'm gonna delete this one. They sold this card and this is the card. And this is also the card. We have light pink background and transparent background. Is that transparent or like, cause there is no uh, PNG here. They mean white. And you also have paper size with three cards. I'm really confused about this product, guys. I'm super confused. And this looks, uh, I, I love that this is here, but the colors are not so much. I love this. Um, love forever, beautiful flamingo. You get a digital product, instant download. No software to download or fonts to install, okay? Printing options at home, online, or any local shop. Your files. Flamingo, love forever, card size, three and a half by five inches. Never seen that one before. Okay, let's put it to card, guys. Next, I'm officially in love with you. I'm officially in love with you. I'm officially in love with this card. It's so cute. Okay, um, mock-up work could be better. I don't actually like the color combination, especially if you're putting it on a scarf. Uh, this one looks nice. Uh, print and fold here. Hmm, that's nice. Instant download, no physical product will be sent. I love this one. I love. This is super cool. I love this. Okay, and this is three PDFs and two JPEGs. Wow. The seller has been doing a lot of work. Okay, let's add it to cart. Moving on to a set of four. Okay, so set of four comes with four PDFs. That's nice. Simple and clear. Oh, I like this one. I like how they did um, the foldable cards, both like vertical and horizontal. It's kind of cute. This is like a lot of work. It's a lot of work because you keep having to repeat the mock-up, keep having to update stuff. And this store has a lot of designs, seriously. They have 518 products and they made 6,000 sales, which we cannot see because they are blocked to us. We have the reviews here. I want to see if someone reviewed with like a product or something like that. Can I, can I check out the reviews like more? No, let's just go into a product and then I can see something. You have a better look at the reviews. And we have here, oh, photos from reviews. Okay. Happy birthday. Oh, actually looks really good guys. Really good guys. Okay. Let's see if I want anything else from this store instead of this set, like to look at anything else. We have so many categories, guys. This store, Dan 19 Design, let me just refresh to see the banner photo. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm, I'm more impressed now. First of all, the logo is insane. I love it. Denny, you're doing an amazing job. Seriously, I, I love this. This looks so good. Gift tags, prints, and Espanol. Oh, we also have printable wall art. Ah, uh, thank you cards. Ooh, this is so adorable. We also had the sets, right? So card sets. Hmm. These are really good. I love the simplicity of this. Um, but I think I want to do, oh, this is like, okay, this is really cool. So you basically have a set with happy birthday, thinking of you, congratulations, and thank you. That's awesome. Let's add it to cart. I'm seriously gonna buy all of these guys. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, this is a 525 inch by 525 inch. I have no idea how much that is in centimeters. And I have, and I'm pretty sure they're using um, a US letter size paper. Okay, digital templates, PDF and JPEG format. Print size includes foldable. Okay, do we have the foldable? Yes, we do. Wow, it's like literally touching here. But I like the work that they did with this. This is like really nice. Personalized uh, print, happy birthday husband, foldable card. I like non-commercial use. I love this. This looks brilliant. 
And I like how they're branding themselves here. And graph, uh -huh. Uh -huh. graphics, I don't even know how to say the name of the store. And please note this listing is digital download, no physical items. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We have tags here as well. Let's check out what else they're selling. Okay, no banner here. Ooh, happy Mother's Day. We have square cards. What are other cards? Hmm, okay. Uh, birthday cards. Vintage botanical cards. Hmm. I like this one. Fall and Thanksgiving. Ah, these are labels. Interesting. Wall art. So they're selling a mishmash of things. What are people buying from them? Ooh, St. Patrick's Day. Co-workers printable. My love, I choose you. My love, daddy. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, we see a lot of holiday turnover from here. Oh, you're a smart cookie. That's nice. Printable, I could love you longer. If I had my life to live over again, I would find you sooner so that I can love you longer. Oh, this is so cute. This is so kitschy. Seriously, guys, I'm adding this to card. I want to see how it looks. Moving on to the shininess with coloring cards, printable note cards, print at home, set of 30 hand-drawn greeting cards. What? 30. Oh, oh, holy cow. Okay, 30. What are they selling other than this? Wow. Uh, let's check out. We have 1,076 sales. Oh, kneading patterns. Mostly knitting patterns and a 100-day cold tracker. Adult coloring. Okay, so they're not really selling these cards as much. Maybe I should skip that one out. Um, Ostara, printable greeting card, spring equinox. Ostara Briga, uh, wake up. Pag yeah, my, my, my brain not working. Barbara Finer Art Studio, 78 sales. We have a lot of work on the mock-ups here. So we have digital download JPEG, Ostara card, so we have um, 4 by 6 and A6, which is this size. Uh, I don't like, I don't know, original die patch painting on wood panels. Ah, it's also available. I thought they were using this as a mock-up and I was like, oh, this is too big. Um, but this is nice that they have the original paintings as well. Uh, finer art prints of large sizes are available. There's a lot of work. That was put into this one piece. I paint in watercolors, acrylics, pastel, a lot of owls, birds, animals. This is like magical. Seriously magical. Let's get this card, guys. I kind of want to put it as my phone, uh, like opening screen. Let's add this to cart. And I also want to check out, I, don't take me to cart, take me back to product. I also want to check out more about this item because they said they have another, okay, this product is unavailable. Let's go to the actual shop and of course refresh the page because the cover banner doesn't work. Oh, stand with Ukraine from Belarus. Cheers to you, girl. Um, we have animals and owl prints. These are nice. I don't know why a mug is here, but these are nice instant download art and downloadable greeting cards with 78 sales. What did they sell? Oh, they sold it like recently. Also, I will draw your family as owls. <laughs> That's so cool. So cool. Oh, oh, oh. It's not available. It's, a, it's an ornament. I think it was like a, a custom order. It's so cute. Anyway, it's in my cart. Moving on. A lo Luba, uh, Luba Art Gallery. Printable card. I don't know what it says here. Love. I, I really can't read it. I really can't read it. Okay, so they did a mock up of how it looks for like all of their cards. All of it, all of their cards, not specifically to this one. What does it say? I seriously can't read this. Download card, digital download card. Here's how to get it. Good reasons for printable. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I don't know what it says, but I'm adding this to cart. We have these affirmation. How are these affirmation cards? These are blank. Okay, that's interesting. Mistakes help me learn and grow. This is a children positive affirmation. It looks really cool. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do anything with this because uh, my design style is totally different and I actually want to do greeting cards, like not affirmation cards. But this is adorable. I'm keeping this open just maybe to send to a friend of mine because she really likes these kind of stuff for her kid. 
Watercolor rose printable greeting card. Flowers printable postcard. Okay. They're showing it. Um, this is a really big size. Instant download file sizes. Maximum size is 30 by 20 centimeters. Thank you for putting centimeters in here. Uh, we have two cards. Um, we have close ups. Am I just getting the card? Uh, let's add this to cart. I'm buying so much. This video is going to cost me so much money. Um, art bird print. Art bird. This looks less stylish than the rest. Let's skip that one. We have the templates. Um, these are actually for template. Like these are from template. I'm not sure what you're getting. You're getting a zipped 5x7 and a 4x6 card templates. But this is from template, right? Am I missing something here? Card design here. Cut fold. Hmm. Please note this is the little download. Is this for commercial use? With editable, please note this is the little download after payment. Uh, freebie Friday. Nothing mentioned, so I'm not gonna touch this. We have the cactus one that we started with, and they show you how it comes on. I do have to say one thing, like I mean, if a person wants to buy this, they don't actually have to buy this. They can just print screen and just take this. There is no watermark on this. Okay, this is showing other stuff that she's doing, other stuff that she's doing, other stuff, and a lot of other stuff. So only this card is here. Next. Okay, there is a watermark. 5 by 7 greeting card, foldable. Happy birthday. Ooh, okay, this is interesting. I'm, I'm adding this one to cart. And I also wanted to show you something else that I found while actually doing the preliminary research for this. Like, I mean, I started going over this myself, thinking about making an order, and then I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna film it. And what I found was this store, Open End Designs. And I was looking at this and I was like, hmm, this kind of looks like one of my mock-ups. I mean, I really like these fonts. And then I opened this, and the back of the card and front of the card is exactly like I wrote it in the tutorial, in the famous, like, in the 40,000 views tutorial. So I actually uh, sent a message to Tyler, who's the owner of this shop, just because I really want to know if this was made from one of my tutorials. <laughs> I really wanted to know. It looks spot on, like one of my tutorials. I don't even know. Obviously, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, like, I'm not going to go like... You made this with my tutorial. It looks like what I did. Copyright infringement. Totally not. It's just like, holy, <laughs> holy cow. If someone actually like did something with one of my tutorials and I literally found it on Etsy search, that's pretty cool. Especially when she doesn't have so many sales. So that was kind of cool too. And with that being said, let's go to cart and uh, purchase all of them. Oh, I can't proceed to check out with everything. I have to do checkouts <laughs> separately. The out. Uh, then buy three more. Okay, let's just have a look at how it looks. Okay, oh my god, these are from the same store. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't even realize it. And then uh -huh, uh -huh, graphics. We have Den 19 Designs. We have the Owl Studio. I don't know why I can check out. Ah, okay, these are only check out from the store and then it's a payment. Uh, okay, let's just get started because this is getting complicated. Um, Let's add a note, thank you. And proceed to check out. Total of six items. Do I have six items? Nine items in the cart. Let's just write thank you to all of them. Ah, oh, let me just copy paste. Why can I not check out from everything? Okay, let's proceed to check out. Okay, one order is done. Obviously, I'm not showing you guys my PayPal, and now I need to check out three more times. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, so this was very long and annoying, but let's go to my account and go to my purchases and reviews. That's supposed to be here, right? I still have to review some of my other purchases. I will do that soon, but now we are looking at one, two, three, four, five. I actually bought both of them. I thought I'd delete one. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, and this was from last week. Okay, and let's just get down to downloading files. Download files. We have A6 size and four by six inch. Let's open this up. 
I hope that you can, guys can see this. Uh, this is literally a, a an A6 size. Let's check out what I got. Okay, so I got 12, 40 by 17, 48 pixels design and 300 resolution. And we also have the four by six inch. This is literally what I got. There is no um, anything else on it, no attachments. Uh, you know, you can't see the page or, you know, no printing uh, layouts. This is literally what I got. Let's go back. By the way, I'm not saying it's bad. It's actually kind of nice for me because if I'm looking at this store that does have sales, uh, I don't know when they started. Let's see if we can see when they started. Um, last update. I can't really see when they started. They were selling uh, some other stuff last year. Um, but it's kind of nice to see that all they needed to do is just, you know, just make the JPEG and upload them. That was kind of nice. Um, let's download files here. I have three PDFs hmm. and a zip file for the envelope. Okay, we have instructions. That's interesting. We have a uh, flower three card a7. Let's check this out. Ooh, it's a PDF. I still can't read it. I still can't read it. Looks nice. Looks very nice. Let's check out the instructions PDF. Okay. This is really nice. This is really nice. And uh, let's move on to a different one. Okay, we have watercolor rose printable download files. Two zip ones. Okay. Um, let's download the JPEG. And fire. Fire PDF. It's kind of weird. Okay. Why is it called? I think that someone for named their um, item wrong. It's, it's really important to name your files correctly. Um, we have a four by six inch, just a JPEG. Let's mark it up. Yeah, four by six. Looks good. And let's do our PDF zip on a PDF. Okay. Not, um, nothing to like, no printable area, but still kind of cute. Moving on. How did I, how did I get out of this? Okay. Purchases and reviews. Still says that I'm in Yated, Israel. I need to change my shop location to Bonsko. Okay, download files. Okay, let's download fish PDF. This is the PDF of the fish, literally, okay. Foldable JPEG. So many files. Okay. Uh, let's see how the foldable PDF looks like. I kind of thought that this would be inside like a page, but it still looks cute. I want to see what is the thank you. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is so cute. I'm kind of happy I spent all this money now. Okay, let's go back. We have nice stuff, guys. Really nice stuff. I'm getting really inspired. Are you guys, are you guys getting inspired too? Um, how did I end up in the same place? Let's go back. Something happened because I was going to do the, this one. Wait, where was it? Okay. I want the bees. Download files. How am I still here? Ah, okay. What am I doing? I keep coming back in and out. This was like the dumbest thing that I did. Flowers B envelope. Download. Flowers B greeting card. Download. Let's see the envelope as a JPEG. Nice. Let's see the greeting card, just as she wrote. Trim on gray lines and fold in half. Nice, simple, and I don't need to keep coming back because it's all here. I feel very dumb. Um, three and a half by five flamingo card, JPEG. Download. Ah, this is the pink version because they had both versions. Let's just mark it up. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, so this one is actually 72 DPI. Uh, no, actually, let's switch it back to pixels. I'll put it on 300. Let's convert it back to inch. Okay, so this is three and a half by five if I convert it. But the original file opens up on only 72 DPI. Transparent background. 
Ah, these are like the three. Why would you need three Happy Valentine's Day cards? Just a, a thought. I mean, if my boyfriend would buy like three Happy Valentine's Day cards, I'll be like, who's the other two, man? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, anyway, moving on, we had the printable. Could I love you? I could love you longer. Oh, wow. That's a very long file name, man. Very love, very long file name. Uh, <laughs> We have a how to guide and printing permission. Okay. Um, this is actually the square card, so it kind of looks nice. Let me just see if I can, uh, mark it up to see what's going on here. Okay. So we have 11 by eight and a half inches. This actually looks really good, guys. I really like how this is set up and it's not very hard to do this setup instead of the setup that I did, even though I'm kind of leaning more towards, um, the just selling the jpeg as it is because apparently people do that i i, I think i overcomplicated things but also the foldable thing is really nice because you can put in the logo and the link it's really nice and i really love this one this looks really good like insanely good and uh i'm not sure what else to do because i mean we just went over uh so many of these things that were in my cart and there are so many things on Etsy. Um, so let's just uh, put my computer aside, uh, make myself bigger, and conclude this long video of me buying things on Etsy. I wanted to share this with you guys for two reasons. Uh, the first is, I think there is a lot to learn when you see what other people are doing, and as well as, you know, what are they doing in the back? What they're doing, you know, what kind of files people are getting. And I know that a lot of people don't want to spend that money, that initial money at the beginning. So I did it for you. Uh, I don't know if I want to test out how these things are being printed, but I do know that I want to test out how some of my own things will be printed. The printer I have here at home uh, that I got from a friend who left Bansko is really bad. <laughs> Seriously bad. So I'm not going to be doing that. But I do think that what I will be doing is possibly design some of these things and take them to some local print shops here, ask one of them to print it in a colorful printer and one of them to print it like on a cardstock to make it a bit more uh, unique. And then also so I can show, you know, on the actual store how this is done. It was a few weeks ago that I posted uh, the nine reasons why all my Etsy shops failed with the biggest reason behind them is actually because I closed every single Etsy shop, even those like who made money from the start. And I elaborated on so many of these reasons. And it's been a really struggle for me thinking what to do with my own Etsy store because I do have a lot of designs and I really want to promote them. And I think that a lot of my new designs now could really look awesome on cards, especially if I combine some simple text with them. And I really enjoy making this cute little quirky clip art. I think that I want to try and take this project on, but looking into the reasons why my shops failed. And again, I'm going to put a link to that video down below so you can uh, go ahead and see if you are, you know, feeling one of these reasons because a lot of the reasons were my mental health and my physical health and shiny new thing syndrome, uh, which I'm afraid that I'm doing also now. But a lot of this was because I really don't like to do repetitive work. And for me to do the whole process of uploading and creating the mock-up, creating this, creating this was so complex. It was so exhausting and draining because I I try to limit the time that I'm sitting in front of the computer, like with my hands, like this. It really, I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> oh, it really hurts my back and my shoulders. And for me, looking at this and saying like, you know what, I can just do something simpler just with the JPEGs. Maybe for me, it makes me feel better and more hopeful about this shop. And also, I think that when I did it, uh, when I had that store a few years ago, it was also not with what I call art. Like, of course, it was very artistic and I, m most of my cards were really cool. I actually had friends who were like, oh my God, I'm ordering from your shop. Not because it's your shop, but because it's like so awesome. Like my husband's gonna love this. And, uh, but the thing is that I didn't feel like I was being artistic as full as, as fully as I want to. And I think it also comes to, you know, with me wanting to take a bit more Skillshare classes and using Procreate and an iPad. So getting better with my own art. And the second reason for making this video is because, you know, I wanted to do this research for me. So <laughs> why not share it with you guys? 
I think that um, it comes to show you like how I feel about you know this whole YouTube uh, community or something like that. I really think about you guys sometimes as my coworkers, which is kind of nice when you work alone from home. So thank you for being my co-workers and being on this journey with me, whichever journey that you are specifically on. There are so many other things in the pipeline. I literally opened a Spreadshirt shop this morning, filmed the whole thing and ordered test products and more on that when they arrive. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. And I do not know how to finish this video. <laughs> As I said, I'm gonna wing it. I don't know what videos are gonna come up next and we're moving on Friday. And as I said in the video yesterday, I am filming classes for Creative Fabrica. My first class is already on and you can check it out and see it. Uh, if you have the all access membership for Creative Fabrica, then you can just enroll to that class for free. It's basically like a print and demand uh, presentation, how to print and demand, like showing, it's a lot of data, dry, boring information. <laughs> But uh, you can go ahead and check that out too. I do have more filming to do for Creative Fabrica and we are moving on Friday, like this weekend we're moving. Uh, so I do not know how many more videos will be. I do know that I wanna make more stuff for the bundle box of March coming to you in April. And really take this seriously because if I have one tip to give you guys is to always try to um, launch something in the right time. And if I wanna launch something for greeting cards, especially printables, money time is now with Easter right around the corner. So with that being said, I need to stop chatting, finish filming, edit, upload this video so I can focus on other things before seeing you at seven o'clock in the live chat that just happened. I always feel like a time traveler saying it. I drifted off there. In any case, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!